Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. Today is the day that I do my hashtag movie and stitch B project and C movie reveal. <laughs> if, uh, not a reveal, but like announcement, whatever. Whatever. You get the point. Anyways, my B movie was the big green. <laughs> uh, just, it'll be big green, comma the. Cause we're not doing the does but anyways <laughs> uh yeah so it's a disney movie it is available to watch on disney plus i don't know if it's on youtube or amazon prime i will look before i put this video out and if it is i'll link it below if it's on youtube but anyways it's a 1995 movie i think yes and uh the synopsis or how you say that word that is on um disney plus just says an inspiring action-packed story of a ragtag team of young soccer players who with the help of their new teacher and the local sheriff set out to restore their small town's former glory <laughs> so basically it's just like a lot of other movies that came out in the 90s like the mighty ducks and the little giants uh what else i don't know the sandlot all those movies about sports where it's like a bunch of nerdy and uh unpopular <laughs> kids who become good at a sport at first they're really bad at it and then they get better at it and then they end up like winning a championship that's pretty much like the storyline that was huge in the 90s but i was a kid in the 90s so i ate all that up <laughs> i loved all those movies my favorite movies for the longest time were the mighty ducks movies um uh, anyways yeah so it's basically the same thing and it's also got steve gutenberg in it <laughs> so that's a big bonus because I've, I've always loved him i still love him <laughs> but yeah he plays as a sheriff in that and he's real goofy in it they live in this really tiny town in texas i think it's called elma it's a fictional town um and they their school is like one of those schools that's not doing that good because kind of out in the middle of nowhere and um it's one of those places where people don't really care to like support the school and all that so uh the class full of kids needs a new teacher so they get a new british teacher and she comes in and she is um having a hard time teaching them so she wants to teach get them all together in activity to help them learn so she comes up with the idea of making a soccer team and at first they all suck at soccer <laughs> except one kid and um so uh the sheriff likes the teacher he thinks she's nice you know pretty so he kind of volunteers to help her mostly to get close to her but then you know throughout the movie they do get close together but also they end up helping the kids get better and get self-confidence and all that stuff <laughs> and uh they get good at soccer and all that stuff but anyways they uh it's a good movie i think it's good i love kid family movies because uh i'm a big kid at heart and i like watching feel good movies what you doing mama's just recording i'll be done in a minute Anyways, so uh, my project for the movie and stitch uh, collab is making squares for each movie and then I'm going to put them together to make a blanket later. What's up? I'll be done in just a minute. <laughs> um, so I made a square for this and there's a part in the movie. They have a goat as their school like mascot, their team mascot. See me? You're going to make a baby blanket or a kid blanket out of on them squares. I'm gonna make a big one to put in the living room so we can snuggle under it and watch movies. Mm -hmm. And eat popcorn. Yeah, that'd be nice, won't it? We need popcorn popcorn and then we can have that white cheddar stuff. And mm. then that is so good, ain't it? <laughs> well, Mama finished filming this, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be in there in just a minute. <laughs> Anyways, so... My first square had a um, basketball on it from the absent-minded professor. So I didn't want to do a soccer ball in this one because then it would be like a sports theme already from the get-go. So <laughs> I took the... All right, I had to help him get a toy. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't want two sport ones right beside each other. So I took the colors for my square, this, you know, the color scheme of it, from the movie poster, which I'll pop up. So I used uh, Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green, Bright Yellow, the old Bright Yellow that actually is bright right there really bright the new bright yellow is like dull uh, and then this is um it's like called red hot or hot red i can't remember and uh so i just pulled that from the colors of the movie uh poster and then i tried to make a uh goat applique 
and I made it green because there's a part in the movie where their little goat mascot gets dyed green <laughs> for the big like championship game and um well it don't look like a goat it looks <laughs> you're allowed to laugh at it because I'm laughing at it it looks like a goblin or something but I know what it is and uh this could be our blanket so it's okay Devin knows what it is he thinks it's cute but you know he says that because he loves me but anyways here it is <laughs> It looks like a goblin. He has a nose, but I should have made it bigger. It's real small. Looks like a little, like, soul patch or something. <laughs> but, uh, there's my goat. Doesn't look like a goat, but, you know, it's okay. But anyways, this is my B project. <laughs> so this will be next to my, the, the uh, bright yellow one with the, the basketball on it. <laughs> so this will be the next one in line. And it's supposed to be a green goat for the big green, but it looks like a green goblin. <laughs> <laughs> or like a troll or something but I still think it's cute and uh yeah so I, I I'm not I don't I'm not mad enough at it to fix it <laughs> so uh yeah I think it's cute but whatever that's done <laughs> so the movie the big green I do give it a five star rating I still haven't fixed my stars <laughs> I need to do that people's been giving me suggestions on how to uh like start them to make them lay out and I just haven't got around to doing it I need to do that maybe I'll do that before the scene one yeah but I give it a five star rating too because I love it. Like I said, I probably give all of them five star ratings because I love family movies a lot. I really want to do Matilda for um, M because Jesse's never seen it and I haven't seen it in years and neither has Devin. But you can't stream it anywhere for free or in the subscriptions. So I'm probably going to have to buy it. It is on Amazon, I think, for like $12. So I might go ahead and just buy that and have it on my Amazon because I'm sure we'll re watch it. Re re -watch it. Because I know I used to love it and I think Jesse will love it. He loves any movie where there's littler kids doing stuff because I guess he can um, associate with it better. But yeah, so five stars. I gotta fix that. I need to put down all my things to do. <laughs> so my C movie is going to be, I wrote it down, it's 1978's Candle Shoe. It's a Disney movie. It's on Disney Plus. Most of mine will be from Disney Plus. <laughs> um, I read the thing on it. Uh, it's got Jodie Foster in it when she was a kid, which I always thought she looked like a boy in all her movies when she was a kid. She looks like a boy. And, uh, yeah, she's a great actor anyways, actress. Uh, but it's about her. She is an orphan and she's like friends. I, I've never seen it, so I don't know. She's friends with a crook and they're trying to steal some old pirate booty <laughs> from uh, a house that this old lady lives in. And so she's pr trying to pretend to be that old lady's long lost granddaughter to get access to her house. So, I think it's going to be good. I don't know. But, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It seems good. And I'm pretty sure they remade that movie. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a newer version of that quite recently. Candle Shoe. I feel like Tom Hanks or somebody was in it. I don't know. I have to look it up. But, uh, I'll pop up the original movie poster here of the one I'm going to watch. It's 1978's Candle Shoe. <laughs> which is kind of a weird name but for a movie. I don't even know what a candle shoe is. I'll have to look that up. Is that one of those things you snuff out candles with? Or is that one of those little things that you carry a candle with? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, look that up and see what it is. I'm gonna watch the movie. I might watch it now because I'm really tired. I think I'm gonna go, like, make camp on the couch and watch a movie. So maybe that one. And, uh, I do have some sewing I need to finish. But I just, I'm not feeling it today. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just gonna chill and wait for time to Devin, for Devin to come home. <laughs> pretty much. Because I'm exhausted. I could take a nap. But Jesse's here so I can't take a nap. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so if you're following along with the hashtag movie and Stitch, uh, I have a playlist. I'm trying to put everybody's videos in there. I hope I haven't missed any. I randomly, every few days, I, I search it myself so that I can add anyone who's adding new videos to it. But, um, I'm pretty sure anyone can add to a playlist, so, because it's a public playlist. So, if I forgot any, please, uh, let me know. <laughs> if you're participating, feel free to share, uh, your projects with me on my Facebook group or through email if you, uh, don't use Facebook. Uh, I have an Instagram. I, I don't use it. I use it a lot to, like, look at other people's stuff, but I hardly ever post on it. I'm <laughs> bad at that. But, uh, yeah. And if you're making videos for it, uh, let us know down in the comments below so we can check it out. And, yeah. I will come back in, like, two weeks to share my C project and my d movie i don't know i haven't gotten that far <laughs> i didn't pick out my c movie until like a few minutes ago i was gonna film this right after my whip wednesday video but i haven't even picked out my c movie so i had to go peruse uh disney plus for a little while and um 
find a movie. <laughs> I already found a few that I was going to pick from, but I th I've never seen that one. So I wanted to check it out. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye guys.